try to show you how to make this stretchy pearl bracelet, which is perfect for clip-on charms, like this. You just clip it on, and there you go. Fabulous. So with that as the end in sight, in the kit that we're going to show you how to make, you get some pearls, you get your strip of stretchy elastic, and you get one set aside pearl, and when you look at that you'll see that it's got one side of the drill hole drilled out to a very large hole. And that is so that you can hide the finishing knot in there to make a very nice tidy end result. So when you're making the bracelet, it's quite straightforward and simple. Start by finding a crocodile clip or something similar, because it's a good idea to just put something on that end to make sure that as you're putting new pearls on, other pearls don't just come off the end. Start with your special one pearl and that the big hole has to face towards the end. So you thread it on the big end first and then simply thread the beads on. There you go, you see? Doesn't come off. Good plan. There we go. Let's often get one that fights back. And if you find one that seems to not want to go through, it's an idea simply to turn the pearl over the other way. Because sometimes, since they're pearled, they're drilled from both directions, that's doing it, you get a slight burr. It'll go through the other way. <clears throat> so if it won't go through from one side, turn the pearl around and it'll usually go through the other side. Now you want to thread just the right number of pearls on so you need to have measured your wrist and you want it to be your wrist measurement with maybe a centimetre slack because you don't want it so tight on your wrist that you're going to cut off the circulation. I invariably have to have longer bracelets because I've got wrists like a shot putter's. Now, ready to finish. And you've got to remember your Cubs and Scouts training. And you're going to do right over left and under. Pull it slightly tight. And then, top tip, pull the knot that way. I don't know why it helps, but it helps the knot to stay stable. And then left over right under because you're aiming for a good strong secure reef knot. Pull it out again <clears throat> and then right over left and under and left over 
right, and I'll just pull that out first. There we go. And then carefully trim off the ends. Make sure you just trim off the ends and not the length of the bracelet. If you've got a little bit of glue, squidge it in the hole and then pull that in there so that it doesn't show. You see some where they have a very scratchy piece of end there. And then you're all set to clip on the charms. Fabulous. <laughs>